because I am running so late and so behind. So I'm just gonna throw in this bun and I'm hoping my sunglasses cover up the mess. But me and two former colleagues are headed to Gulf Shores for the week. One of them is my routine travel buddy. Her name is Bombshell. And of course, when I travel with her, my name is Penny. So I'm headed to meet them at the house right now. But first, I have to swing by another good friend of mine. Um, I need to swing by her house and grab a swimsuit cover-up. So, or a couple of cover-ups that she has that are really cute. So anyway, come along. Bombshell and Penny plus Pam are gonna do Gulf Shores for four days. Let's go. I'm loaded in the car. Let's see. Are you excited? What is your like? What are you, what are you looking forward to the most? And chill. Yeah. All right, this is our first bathroom break of the day. Many more to come. Yeah. <laughs> then it was time for us to have lunch, and we went to McAllister's. And a garden salad. Mmm. With the, all the fruits and stuff. It's really good. It looks delicious. It is good. Hello. What did you get I to eat? The horseradish roast meat sandwich mm -hmm. and the pecan berry salad. That sounds like it's gonna have like a kick with horseradish. Mm -hmm. Oh, another kick. Mm -hmm. I got this jalapeno turkey crunch thing mm -hmm. and a salad. Yeah, it's potato chips in it. Oh, cool. This sandwich could quite possibly be the best sandwich I have ever eaten at McAllister's Deli. With potato chips inside and on a jalapeno bun, it hit everything. Donna's Produce. This is the same stand that me and my dad stopped at a couple years ago to get our fresh peaches. Oh, they have homemade ice cream. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm saying my dessert for that. We're gonna lose Pam at the homemade ice cream. It's got, she's gone, she's gone. Love it. <laughs> I saw a fudge, my dad does. He loves fudge, man. Everywhere we go, he gets fudge. What'd you say? I said we should have driven the car. We need to walk off lunch. Look on the peaches. We're in late peach season, so. We're gonna have to find some sort of family farm on the way for our fresh peaches. We may be too late. <laughs> I don't know how far we are, but we just stopped for our first Starbucks run. An iced caramel macchiato with cream is perfect. And this snack, if you know, you know. And even though we hit a little bit of traffic, there was plenty of conversation. <laughs> we finally found a stand and we got a watermelon that we hope is sweet. Peaches. And we got some peaches. We got some peaches. Every time I see peaches, I think of the other song, Millions of Peaches. Do y'all not know that song? In the 90s? Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Millions of peaches, yeah. peaches for Never. me. They're singing a different peach song. Really love your peaches, wanna shake your tree. <laughs> to the country, I'm gonna eat a lot of peaches. I'm moving to the country, I'm gonna eat me a lot of peaches. So excited, we're here at Papa Rocco's for oysters and salad. It's our first stop since we made it. Afterwards, we're going to the Walmart to get our groceries. Pam's got to have an umbrella. Do you see that hair? That hair, no water is touching that hair. That's right. It is, it is special hair. There's a whole infrastructure. Do you know your hair matches my dress? It does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Papa Rocco's is the place for pizza and oysters. They also have a very delicious salad and we happen to get some boiled shrimp as an appetizer. They are so fresh and delicious with horseradish and cocktail sauce. And 
you just have to go. We decided on the garlic Parmesan oysters and the Alfredo, and oh my word, the Alfredo were such a surprise. This was Pam's choice. So thankful she grabbed them. I would have never chosen them, and they were excellent. After stuffing our faces with some wonderful seafood, it was then time to go shopping. We have spent the better part of an hour grocery shopping because I'm going to be cooking for the week and doing lots of recipes. Look at that cart. We are getting it done and now we're going to get my vitamins. <laughs> Three hours later, we are ready to go. We just arrived. We got all of our groceries unloaded and put away. And yeah, so let me show you. We are beachfront. And I mean, obviously it's nighttime, you can't see. But there's a really nice pool. And then I'll show you the beach tomorrow. We have our little eating area. This is our living room, kitchen. And down the hall is bedroom, bathroom, and other stuff. So. We're here and settled. It took like 12 hours to do a six hour trip, but we stopped probably six times. So, you know, anyways, I will catch you tomorrow. Hasta mañana. Every morning we had coffee out here on the balcony. So peaceful and amazing and just totally worth the view. It was such a calm way to start the day. I'm headed down to the beach. I've got chairs, I've got umbrellas, I've got water. And we're about to go get set up for the day. Back at the condo, I made chicken salad on bagels for a quick snack. <laughs> and I made a fuzzy peach sparkling mocktail. There were some thunderstorms that kind of rolled through in the mornings and sometimes in the afternoons, but thankfully they passed through quickly and they didn't keep us from the beach. We ended all of our evenings with a nice calming walk. I thought this was so beautiful. It was like a curtain of clouds was pulled back and you could see through it. It was divine. So we just came in for the beach, from the beach for the day and I'm about to start on dinner. I'm making some Greek salads. I'm also making paella, shrimp and sausage paella and then a fresh peach, grilled peach crumble. So good, so I'm about to get started. I cooked a dinner that featured Spain's national dish, paella, with sausage and fresh shrimp. We woke up. It's been raining like every night, but when we wake up, it's super clear. So we have spent almost all of our time on the, um, the it's not a deck, porch? I don't know, the place right outside the room. And I'm about to have paella, leftover paella for breakfast. Because I'm on vacation and I can do that. It is so good. But yeah, we're just hanging out. We're gonna get ready to go to the beach in just a minute. But right now, we're just hanging out all morning long, hanging out and talking. I may or may not be eating some more paella and a bagel. And we just made some mango pineapple pina coladas for the beach. Cheers. Okay, it took us a minute. <laughs> it took us a minute to get situated, eat breakfast, to talk about everything and drink our coffee. Six hours later. What time is it, really? At 2.08 today, we're making our way to the beach. Yes. Pam, AKA Callie, was always on the look for a really cool shell. 
was time to start dinner, I decided to make them my Mexican street corn ribs and turkey tacos. And again, we ended our night on the beach. There is no better way to do it than with friends. Time to rise and shine. Just like that, our beach vacation is over. Ready to go home. The drive home wasn't too bad, but I did get sick in the car, so I wound up laying down. It was such a fun trip, a nice little getaway, and I'm glad to be home.